So now I'm going to go over how to set the alarms. So whether we want to set the accumulated dose alarm or the dose per hour alarm, either way, you're going to hit the button. We'll start off with uh, dose per hour. You'll hold it down and hit the clear test button. Now this will blink for 10 seconds and it'll show you what it is set to. If you hit clear test again, now one thing blinks. So we've got the ro uh, Rentgen's blinking. If we hit the dose per hour, we can actually change whether that's, right now it moved the decimal from 1 to 10, now we're at 100, now we're at 0.101 millirentgens, and so on. You can see that the decimal place moves, and you can decide that way how you want to set this up. Um, so I would like to set it for, let's say we want it decimal there. Now when we're ready to move on, we hit clear test again. Now we change the numbers. And we do that again by pressing this button. Clear test. Let's change this to a 5. Move the next one. Let's make it an even 0.250 millirems per hour. Clear test again. We've gone through all of them, so now we're done. So now, if the dose per hour, the rate, goes up to 250, our 0.250 millirentgens per hour, the alarm will go off. And I'm going to demonstrate this by using a piece of uranium ore over the probe. Now right now I have it set for the visual alarm so we see the light blinking now. If I set it to audio we hear the alarm clock sound. It will not do both alarms at the same time but it will also not stop doing alarms until we hit the clear button. So if I switch it back to visual, it has the light. If I turn it off, neither of them are on, but then they're still on. Now the same thing happens for accumulated dose. We can hold it down and hit clear test. That tells us what it's set to. We can clear test to change what we want it to be set at. And, and that's that.